20 Most Hated Things in Fortnite Season 4 It's hard to complain this season as it's one of the greatest we've had in a long time, but there are some things players are not happy with, like Mythics. One of the biggest parts of Last Resort is stealing from the vaults, and it's pretty satisfying to cause a lockdown. Only problem is, if you're playing in duos or even squads, it's still locked to just one Mythic. You have to fight your own teammates to get it, and if you want your whole squad to get one, everyone has to drop at a different location, which is pretty ridiculous. There's another huge controversy right now, and at the center of it is a battle pass skin. When we all saw the description of season 4, we were shocked as it described every outfit like Kato Thorne, Piper Pace, Atonia. Then when things get overcomplicated, turn to the man who keeps it simple, social media creator Cabby LeMay. When we talk about random, Cabby is the most followed TikToker for a reason, he is super charming, but players are just confused. Cabby isn't exactly known for planning ice, yet he's in the battle pass anyway. Some people argue that he has nothing to do with Fortnite, but I think it's pretty obvious that's why they added him. Epic is always looking for ways to bring new people to the game, so this makes total sense, but I can see why players want him in the item shop instead of taking up a battle pass slot. One item that nobody was expecting is the Crash Pad Jr. This was an interesting decision, and Fortnite clearly took a gamble here. Either this new version of the Crash Pad was going to be amazing or ruin season 4. Well, let's just say fans aren't happy. One of the best parts about the original Crash Pad was that it destroyed everything around it so you could truly escape from any situation immediately. You're in a house just throw it down and you'll fly through the roof. Now try this with the Crash Pad Jr. and ouch! You also can't do a car launch anymore or the chain trick. Not to mention the Crash Pads were invented to save you from fall damage in an emergency and it's way harder now that they're tiny. Something else that's become useless in Season 4 is TNTina's bow. This weapon used to be incredible when it came out, but over the years, Epic clearly changed their mind and nerfed this thing into the ground. If you decide to pick this up from the vaults, you'll instantly regret it. Firing is extremely slow and the arrow doesn't even explode unless you fully charge it, which takes forever. Fans are already admitting that they would never pick this thing up, some even calling it worse than a pickaxe. But for anyone who loves to control Loot Island, you're probably bringing a squad with you, except there is one problem. You're meant to get free mythics, right? Only two of them are available, so it's causing problems. I recommend planning for this next time, or you might get into a heated debate with your friends. Fortnite definitely could have dropped more and fixed the entire problem, but there is a feature that makes zero sense. Just before the season launch, we got a leaked D-boot van, which had everyone talking. Could this be a new feature? Can we shut down vans to make things harder? Well, it's only for us to drop and find one immediately, and yeah, it works exactly the same as any other reboot van. In fact, it's literally just a different color, disappointing everyone. The same can be said for Kato Thorne's car. The Nitro Fang is an amazing vehicle. I gotta hand it to Epic. They really gave us an upgrade. But there is another version that belongs to Kato. When you hear about this, you'd expect it to have better stats like Iron Man's Whiplash. But no, this is the exact same vehicle, just a different paint job. Something that is way too useful is the business turret. It's like Fortnite designed this to be a fifth member of your squad. Now this is a controversial issue because half of the player base love this thing and the other half, well, they want it to be wiped off the face of the planet. Of course, as a turret, it has total aimbot. It snaps to anyone in the area, taking out cameras, hostile NPCs, even enemies. I'm throwing on this one. Do you think it should be nerfed or left alone? Let me know in the comments. Did you know Fortnite gave thousands of people false hope thanks to a huge mistake? When we dropped into season four, everything felt reasonably priced for once. NPC services and items were much cheaper than before, and everyone was excited to finally afford upgrade benches. Some players bought things they had never used in years because of these prices, but after three days, everything went wrong. The cost doubled as Fortnite revealed the bargain bin week had ended. Yes, it was all a lie. Instead of ending the discount with a new season, it kept going without anyone realizing. I wouldn't say this is Epic's fault, but at the same time, they could easily make these the permanent prices. If you're in need of gold, though, I recommend hitting the vaults, but on your way there, the henchmen of bosses are gonna put up a fight. Okay, I'm totally kidding. They're actually super easy to defeat, which makes sense. The game would be super annoying if they were difficult, but there could at least be a balance here. It's becoming more of a race to get to the vault rather than a test of skill. Not to mention, we've been dealing with high card all chapter and players are sick of this guy. While his removal this season gave everyone a sigh of relief, they replaced him with a reskin version and henchman named, you guessed it, low card. Once you get past them and arrive at the vault, it's still missing something. During the season trailer, they teased a ton of items in the collection, from Oro Skull to a mythic goldfish, even golden eggs. Well, none of these are anywhere to be found, and neither is the huge time machine Kato Thor used, but there is hope. Leaks have suggested the time machine will appear later in the season. I just can't say the same for the mythic goldfish, though. Something else that is completely absent from season four was here only days ago. Ranked mode has been a welcome addition to Fortnite, but if you enjoy zero build and had no friends,
friends, you were screwed. There was no option to play ranked solos uh, until last week when Fortnite suddenly decided to let us play it. They said it was only available for a limited time until August 28th and then it would be gone. Of course, after three days, they kept their promise and the mode was deleted, disappointing thousands of players. Honestly, I'd rather not have it at all than be given the mode for only 72 hours. It is such a strange decision, but hopefully they're using this as a test to make the mode permanent. And that's not the only frustrating decision. The Rocket Ram is probably one of the greatest Fortnite items we've had in years. I've never seen the community love something as much as this. It is crazy. Epic nailed it, but they are already starting to mess up. You're able to hit a vehicle and send it flying, which has been fixed in a secret update and players are not happy. Some are even terrified that it's just the first of many changes around the corner. Let's be honest, Epic doesn't have the best track record. If an item is this popular, it usually gets nerfed or vaulted like the Shockwave Hammer. And I'll say this, fans are also worried about the future of the storyline. Last season, they were teasing a mysterious character that Sloane knew very well. She didn't want to call him, but had no choice because of the incoming eclipse. At that point, it seemed obvious to us that this could be Agent Jones. He has been missing since Chapter 4 began, and Fortnite refuses to tell us where he went. All of this was looking like a much anticipated return, only for the teasers to be for someone completely different, Nolan Chance. Ouch. Speaking of Nolan, he is not so popular right now. As a tier one outfit, the expectations weren't that high to begin with, but lately our tier one skins have been pretty great, like Renzo the Destroyer or Era. It's only for Nolan to appear and feel generic. Now, there's nothing wrong with his design in my opinion, but compared to skins like Mei, Kato Thor, and even Piper Pace, he just feels like a random dude. Social media has been going crazy roasting his outfit, but I'm gonna sit on the fence for this one. There are plenty of people who love Nolan. Something everyone could agree on is that the Midas Bane has gone way too far. For years now, Epic has been secretly giving us clues on the return of Midas and his crew. Whether it's his gang hiding on the map, hidden NPC dialogue, and now his entire hand on display, he just won't come back. Honestly, Kato, Thorne, and Midas have a lot in common. They're both billionaires who came out of nowhere to take over the island, and yet it looks like Kato has won this battle. Fair play. Speaking of Kato, Fortnite totally lied to us. In the season four trailer, as he leaves the time machine, you can see Thorne wearing a red and black outfit fit with white hair and glasses. This is a mashup of his two edit styles, not something you could wear, so hopefully it appears in the bonus styles later this season. Just I don't think Rift statues are coming back anytime soon though, which is a total bummer because they were actually useful. All over the jungle, you could use these statues to make an escape from the area without any problem. And considering how annoying trees are in this game, it was a lifesaver. My opinion, they were harmless, so the fact Epic removed them has annoyed a ton of people. If you really want to feel scammed though, you should have been there on day one. Fortnite accidentally put 25 tiers in the item shop multiple times. So you spend your V-Bucks on both of them, expecting 50 levels, only to be given 25. No option for a refund either. You had to go and contact support, so your V-Bucks were basically stolen for a couple days. For anyone who still had money, the most wanted set dropped last week, which we have been wanting for months. Except it wasn't just the escape artist. Fortnite also decided to drop the gold-blooded ace bundle. During the most wanted event back in season one, you could earn all of this for free, and it took a while. Now, Epic usually says they could come to the shop in the future, but that hasn't stopped people from feeling like they wasted their time. Now, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with this because players who didn't put effort in are still spending real money to get it while others got it completely free. But I understand why they're upset. And I know I'm upset whenever Kid's shotgun is on the map. This is one of the most overpowered weapons in season four right now, and it gets worse because only one person could hold it at a time. Literally first come, first serve, and if you get it, it destroys people in a single pump. And so those were season four's biggest problems, according to you, the fans. If you agree with any of these, let me know. At the end of the day, Fortnite killed it this season, and I am looking forward to everything else it has to offer. These are just a few of the problems they could fix to take season four to another level. But anyways, it's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.